Noah Hyde's probably shouldn't covet too. Now, it's not given in the form of a commandment from God. He does not say, Thou shalt not covet to mankind at large, to Adamite, Noahide mankind. He doesn't give that command in the Rainbow Torah. What we have is a principle, an example, when Eve coveted essentially the forbidden fruit, essentially she saw it, desired it, knew that it could benefit her in what she thought was a benefit, and she took it and ate it. It was forbidden, it was against the rules. Her coveting of it went against the rules and they got cursed. Mankind went into temptations of sin because of it and the world got cursed. So the world got cursed because of covenant, coveting. The world was cursed. Mankind was cursed. Adam slaved it out in harsh land outside of the Garden of Eden. You booted out of paradise for the sin of coveting. You go through harsh realities because of giving in to the sin of coveting things. And listening to people who covet and taking their advice, going in cahoots with them, because essentially Adam went in cahoots with Eve. She coveted it, but he went along with the, the package. You're going on, Adam's going along with what Eve's sin really is. Adam's running with it. He probably, maybe he has questions, you know, it is disobedience perhaps, but he does it anyway. He might have had convictions, but he ate the fruit anyway. He still did it in the end. Uh, took a woman to do it, didn't it? But, <laughs> but a serpent of the woman. Yeah. Not pleasant that. So coveting it leads, leads to this massive curse. And the only thing which redeems this curse on the earth is a, a, a covenant. The rainbow covenant. God will not curse the earth again because the covenant was in place. But coveting, it's not good behavior. It leads to curses and it leads to what is obviously problems, problematic realities. When you go around coveting people's possessions, you might steal from them and deprive them of it. And it can lead to violence coming back in your name as they judge you and hurt you for it people are sensitive about their belongings things which they own which belong with them if you covet them and set your heart's desire on them and even take them like eve took the forbidden fruit they they can act in what they think is justice and their right ownership of those things and hurt you punish you like god punished adam and eve other people can punish you or they can arrange for civic authorities to punish you. Coventing is not a good thing. It's not given in the form of a commandment, but we're given such a clear example of how, what happened with Eve and forbidden fruit that it's not a good idea for anyone to go around coveting things. That much is at least obvious.